Back for more Bay Sunday, our next guest runs a theater in the heart of Union Square, a more intimate setting, giving the audience the perfect place to watch a talented off-Broadway company put on some amazing shows. It's the San Francisco Playhouse, located on Post Street, and here to talk about their current show, Stage Kiss, and its rising star educational program is their founder and producer, director Susie Damilano. <laughs> Very good. I got it. I got it. How are you, Susie? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you. Well, 13 years, I guess, now yes. for, uh, for your theater, and you've always been kind of the little theater that could, and you guys are really pumping out some great shows now. Thank you. Yeah, we're really proud, and we're calling it our, our bar mitzvah season since it's we've just become a there teenager. There you go. You're 13, right. <laughs> um, you guys even describe yourself as the empathy gem. What do you mean by that? The Empathy Gym, well, we created the theater because we wanted to have a place where people could come together. And you watch a play and you find yourself sitting in the dark with other people experiencing the same emotions. You're laughing together, you're crying together, and you're entering worlds of people that you don't really know. Mm -hmm. And by experiencing that together, when the lights go down and you leave the theater, you can see the world in a new, new way and you have more compassion and we think you go outside, you make the world a better place, one play at a time. How big? How many does it hold? It's 200 seats. 200 seats. Yeah. So it's pretty intimate. It's very intimate. And you've been there just a couple of years. We've now, been right? in the, this space uh, three years three now. Three years, okay. And it's the same actors that you're going to find at ACT on ba big stages, but they're just right there, so you don't need to have glasses to see them. And this weekend, you've got a great production, Stage Kiss, a yes. little bit of comedy, a little bit of drama, a lot of romance. A, Give a us a snippet. What's it all about? A lot of kissing. A lot of kissing, <laughs> yeah, on stage. Well, it's a beautiful, magical story written by Sarah Rule, who's very popular right now. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of theaters in the area have been doing her shows. And what she does so beautifully is she takes real life and then adds a magical twist. And in this play, a woman has come back to the stage after after 10 years and raising her, um, raising her, yeah, there's some beautiful pictures of it, raising her daughter and she gets cast in a show and the first person who's her leading man is her former lover. Okay. Yeah, and they have to kiss at least 10 times every night in the show and she has this tendency to fall in love with her leading men. I'm thinking rehearsal's kind of fun for these two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing how technical kissing can get. I guess. Now, you've also got an incredible educational program. And uh, why don't you talk about that, your Rising Star program? Because you not only do a lot of productions, you're bringing kids in yes. to your playhouse and yes. teaching them all about drama. Yes, we have a program that's called the Rising Star program. And what we do is we take kids from high schools and um, they come to the plays. We have donors sponsor, uh, donors sponsor $100 for each kid and they get to see a four play season. And we send a lesson plan and they study it and then they come to the, th the show and after the show there's a Q&A with the actors. They get to talk to the actors yes. and really get a feel for what it's like. Yes. And, and for some I imagine it's life changing because it this is. is fabulous. A lot of kids have never stepped foot inside of a theater. Well look at the numbers. You had this on your website. 50% no formal drama training. 75% are from economically uh, disadvantaged areas at 90% minorities. Yeah. A lot of these kids that might be at schools that don't even have arts programs, right? right? Exactly, and, they, and arts programs and theaters specifically, they prove in tests all the time that you do better in SATs, they don't drop out of school, you learn how to have compassion towards other people, you, and it, it's just an incredible night when they're in the audience. And too. have you seen some of these kids come back and actually audition for some of your shows? Has that happened? We've had them audition. We've also had them just want to work in the office. They sure. just want to be around. And we've started teaching classes. Um, we, we have uh, last summer we had our first uh, camp mm -hmm. where they got to do a show on our stage, which was very exciting. So you are directing Stage Kiss as well, right? I and am. it opens this weekend. Have, when's the last time you got a good night's sleep? You must be a, a nervous mother going into the program, huh? Does it show? No, you look great. I, I don't mean it that way, but uh, I bet you can't wait to get this oh, off I'm and running. So, I'm so excited. It's a really good show, and I'm so proud of it that I just have no worries at all, really. And the actors, what, Gabriel Marin and Carrie Paff? Yes. Uh, Huge, beautiful. They're... they're the top actors in the Bay Area, and they're just gorgeous on stage. All right, it's Stage Kiss, and it kicks off this weekend at SF Playhouse. Susie, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Enjoy the holidays. For more information <laughs> about Stage Kiss and the SF Playhouse, go to sfplayhouse.org.
sfplayhouse.org. Nice and easy. More Bay Sunday next week because we're done. I hope you enjoyed the theater show and our mysterious novel. That's it, folks. We'll see you next Sunday right here on Bay Sunday.